All right, guys, welcome to today's lesson. We're talking about irregular shape and area. This is a lesson that I think is fairly self-explanatory. Um, what we're going to be doing is looking at shapes that we don't have the formula for, and we'll be slicing them up into shapes that we do have the formula for, and piecewise adding together the individual areas to find the total area. All right. Um, so I'm going to go through one example for you. Uh, after that example, I'm pretty sure you guys will get the idea of what you're supposed to do. Uh, so here we go. All right. First example, um, the strategy, by the way, just so it's all spelled out here, is to slice the area into figures that we know the formula to. So we're looking to slice it into squares, rectangles, circles, hemispheres, parallelograms, trapezoids, things of that nature, because we know the formula to those things. All right. Let's look at the first example that we're going to do. Um, so I have this figure. It's a figure that I don't have the formula for. If I look at this, I don't have a formula for whatever the heck this is. All right. Um, what I can do, though, is I can slice this into a hemisphere that is on top and a trapezoid that is on the bottom, okay? So, now, from doing that, I have one area that I can figure out and another area that I can figure out and then add the two together, all right? So, what's the formula for a hemisphere? Well, that's the same as the over two, okay? Well, what's my radius do? My radius is 3. Okay? So I have A is equal to B. A is equal to I times the radius, which is 3. 3 squared is 9. So I got 9 pi times B. Or I can simplify that to 4.5 pi. Okay? That means I can grab that. Alright? Uh, next, we have the trapezoid. And the trapezoid formula is base times height divided by 2 times the height of the trapezoid. So let's say the height of this trapezoid is 2. Okay? That would be the other measurement that we needed to know in this problem. Now I have everything I need to know. Well, if the radius goes from here to here, that means the width base of the entire trapezoid is also 6. The entire width. Okay? So, if that's the entire width, that means I have a formula that looks like k is equal to 6 plus 10 that's on the bottom over 2 times the height of the 6. Okay? 6 plus 10 is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So I got 8 times 6 in the end, and 6 times 8 is 48. All of these are inches, so I should have inches squared, okay? So now all I have to do is put 48 inches squared plus 4.5 pi and add those two things together, okay? Um, you can do that on your own, but that's the idea for finding the uh, area of the rash, or, uh, sorry, irregular figure, all right? Um, you actually have a problem that's very similar to this in your homework for tonight, so um, all you have to do is slice up the figures to areas that you know the formula for, and then go ahead and figure out the individual areas, and from there, add them up. Okay? Um, your worksheet today is going to be passed out to you momentarily. Um, only do the odd problem. Only the odd problem. And I will check both homework assignments, the one that we see today, um, and the one that's due tomorrow. I will check both of them tomorrow. All right? Have a great day, guys.